Vehicle is pitching downrange. Booster Raptor, chamber pressure nominal. And we heard, we heard the tower is go for catch. Booster engine cut off. The return flag is set for true. Ship engine start up. Stage separation. All right, hot staging confirmed. Booster six out of six out. lit on the ship. Booster boost back going. We heard that we are go for catch. Kate, Jesse, take out the views. Hopefully I got a booster coming home real soon. Wow, from our view here, Dan, great um, kind of line, that's what we had a booster. Right now it's warning, which is covering. Good news there, telling us that the uh, pressures inside the ship are good. That is the second stage of the upper portion of the cable. Follow along the telemetry on the bottom of the screen. Yeah, booster is currently, it's currently, it's currently, it's booster burn, it's booster burn. This booster burn lasts just a little bit over a minute, so we've got a little, uh, approximately 30 seconds left. We've had shutdown of that boost back burn. Up next will be hot stage jettison. We'll see those grid fins. Booster offshore divert. And we can also see that the uh, hot stage has been jettisoned. The next step for booster is going into that landing burn. Again, it'll light up 13 of those engines and then uh, pair down to three engines right before booster catch. All right. can see it there re-entering. Uh, we saw earlier those grid fins. There are four hypersonic grid fins. Or we can see that the landing burn has begun on the super heavy booster. And same pattern, 13 engines will light. Gone down to three, just as we expected. And what an incredible view of splashdown that we got today. Oh, super heavy. Yeah. We have ship engine cutoff, which will be the cutoff of the, uh, the, the Raptor engines. We can see on our screen ship giving us some incredible views brought to us by Starlink. Uh, this view is also very interesting because we can see basically the receding tile line that we referred to earlier, where we mentioned we have removed a number of heat shield tiles in order to test out and push the envelope on the ship and demonstrate what its capabilities are. Ship engine cutoff. And there we just heard a call out for Seco, ship engine cutoff. Great news there, everything continuing to look awesome. <laughs> It has been an exciting day so far. We lifted off from Starbase at 4 p.m. Central Time. The Super Heavy Booster and ship had a successful separation as well as a good boost back burn and good separation of the hot stage adapter. We did not attempt a return to the launch site and catch attempt today when strict criteria were not met and the Super Heavy Booster executed a planned divert to a landing burn and soft splashdown in the Gulf of Mexico.
Yeah, obviously we were hoping to come back to the tower, but uh, this was a test and we knew that it was a very viable possibility. Starship is at 85 kilometers. Flaps now have control of the vehicle. The sides, and that's where we might have catch fittings in the future, but ooh, color color's starting to come in, so it looks like uh, things are going to start heating up, Kate and Jesse. Yeah, fun fact, Dan, we actually removed 2,100 heat shield tiles from Starship in order to uh, basically present that necessary receding line, which you kind of can see there in your view. Um, think back to previous flights, the, the heat shield line came up further on the vehicle. And just like Dan said, we want to test the vehicle beyond what we think it is capable of carrying based on our simulations and calculations. Um, so once again, to just be super plain, don't be surprised if we see some wackadoodle stuff happen here. Um, <laughs> we won't be. Uh, there are a number of things that we are testing out intentionally to see what the ship can take. Yeah, and if you guys, again, can follow along with the altitude and the speed of ship as it's making its way back down to Earth, bottom right-hand corner of your screen, um, speed is still going really, really fast. Again, as it gets closer to Earth, um, we'll see that altitude drop a little bit faster. It's kind of dropping pretty slow right now. Um, and again, as we get closer and closer to literally the surface of the water, then we'll start to see that speed pick up. The heat shield isn't in this one spot. Can this other material protect the metal is the thinking there. Uh, also, checking of the ship's structural strength in those areas where we're looking to add that ship catch hardware just to see if it survives entry. So yeah, as we've been saying, we've we've done um, a lot of calculations and simulations. This view right here is super cool. This is looking out from the aft engine bay, basically at the bottom of Starship. Um, then on the center left hand panel, if you will, we have one of the forward Starship flats, flaps. So one of the flaps located at the top of the vehicle. Underneath that is one of the aft end flaps, like the one that we see in the main picture there on the right hand side of your screen. Once again, we are targeting a soft splashdown in the Indian Ocean uh, around the, off the northwest coast of, of Australia. We can see these beautiful views of planet Earth coming in. Yeah, this is very different where we had nighttime mm -hmm. views of the ship as it was re-entering. And now we've got daylight. It is about an hour or so after sunrise there in the Indian Ocean. So pretty cool to see this. Yeah, and it might not seem like it makes a huge difference, but we do get a little bit more light on ship as well for the camera views that we have, um, which is very beneficial for us to visually see anything and try and correlate that to any of the sensors or data that we have on the vehicle. Obligatory shout out to the entire avionics team on Starship. <laughs> and there's that nose down orientation. Now the uh, Raptor engines will relight and help flip the booster back up. This is a more severe flip 
given the orientation. Uh, the engines will shut down prior to the water making impact, prior to the vehicle making impact with the water. Wow, the ship is doing great so far. There's there those engines the relighting. What a great reorientation by Starship. Wow. All three down to two. Into the water. Starship is landed. Incredible. We really pushed the limits on shipping and made it all the way back down to Earth. 